Hello everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to produce silver oxide. It's actually fairly simple. We are just needing three things. We are needing silver metal, we are needing uh, nitric acid and sodium hydroxide. To the process, first of all we are going to dissolve the silver metal with nitric acid. Then we are getting rid of the excess nitric acid by simply evaporating it. And then we are producing the silver oxide by uh, mixing in some sodium hydroxide. Uh, a couple of words to safety. Both things like nitric acid and sodium hydroxide are dangerous chemicals. Sodium hydroxide is pretty nasty. It shouldn't get in your eyes. It burns on your skin. Uh, same as um, nitric acid, it's uh, similar nasty. Uh, don't let it in your eyes, don't put it on your skin. Um, on the skin it's, it's really nasty. A couple of years ago I had a, a serious, not, not a serious burn, but I had a burn with nitric acid, something got on my hands. And the bad thing with nitric acid is uh, you don't immediately realize it. Like for example with um, hydrochloric acid when it gets on your hands or on your finger or skin or wherever you know you immediately feel a burn and you're going to wash it off with nitric acid it's not white like that you you don't feel the burn immediately it starts to to burn uh, with a delay and this is really shitty because that means you can uh, have it on your hand or wherever for quite a while without even realizing it and then you're having a serious burn so just take care, you know, wear gloves, wear glasses and everything will be fine. Okay, um, this nitric acid I have made myself. Maybe you can check out one of my videos about um, how I've done it with the machine to produce nitric acid. acid. Um, actually, I'm not having super much left, so it's time to produce more. Um, Hopefully it will work out to dissolve 100 grams of silver. We'll see if it works out or not. If I'm not able to dissolve the whole ingot, then uh, I'm also happy with whatever quantity that I, I get out of this. Um, it's important to work in a fume hood. So I'm just going to pour out the nitric acid in the beaker and then we are going to the fume hood. To dissolve the silver. Let's see how much we have left. Okay, almost 400 milliliters. Let's see if it's sufficient to dissolve 100 gram of silver. Okay, let's go to the fuel mode. So I have successfully dissolved my silver, so the crystals that you can see here, I hope they are visible on the camera, it's um, basically silver nitrate. Um, there is still some uh, nitric acid with the silver nitrate crystals, so the next step is to get rid of the nitric acid in here by evaporating the acid. Um, actually. 400 milliliters of uh, azeotropic nitric acid is more than enough to dissolve 100 grams of silver. Turned out like that. So there's still quite a lot of acid left with uh, silver nitrate in it. 
I am not going to destroy this acid by evaporating it or neutralizing it or whatsoever to, to get my silver nitrate that's left here. So I just set it aside for future use. I can dissolve more silver with it. So I'm just working um, with these crystals that I got here. Um, how did I get these crystals? Simply put that stuff in the fridge overnight or actually in the freezer and the next morning I had these beautiful silver nitrate crystals. Yeah, and that's it. So what you can see here, this is the silver nitrate. I have actually uh, evaporated all the acid. The evaporation took place at 110 degrees. And as you can see here, uh, it's, it's mo mostly white, but a little bit brownish already. This is because the silver nitrate is actually really sensitive to light. So you should not store silver nitrate um, in, in, in a light condition. So just store it in brown glass. And our next step is to scratch it out of this bowl and then dissolve it in distilled water. And the next step is to add sodium hydroxide to get the silver oxide. Scratching it out. So we are left with 132 grams of silver nitrate. According to uh, that value I could later on calculate how much silver is left in the solution. And now we are going to dissolve this silver nitrate in distilled water. anymore. So I'm adding distilled water. This is the wash water out of the bowl. And now we have to stir that stuff as long as it's uh, completely dissolved. This could take a couple of minutes. One word about silver nitrate, if you get it on your skin, it will leave uh, nasty black stains and they are really difficult to get rid of. So better wear gloves, otherwise it will color your hands black and basically you have to wait till your skin comes off the natural way. There are actually some ways how to, um, how to get it off your skin, but better don't get some drops of that stuff on your skin, otherwise it will be black. Okay, so the silver nitrate has finally dissolved, so I'm going to check the pH when I do the titration with the sodium hydroxide. Uh, the best results I'm getting at about pH 11.5, so I'm adding the pH probe. And now we are starting with the titration with sodium hydroxide.
So it's time for filtration. We have to wait till the filtration is done. So I added water in order to get the sodium hydroxide out. I will wash it two or three times and then I'm sure that all the, the lye is uh, washed out. So this brown blackish sludge that you can see here is our final product. It's the silver oxide. 